Y'all, we're not just losing in court. We're pre-losing. I've got not one, but two stories this week about reproductive rights losing in court so bad that they didn't even get a chance to lose in court. The first one is in the deep red state of New York. See, New York Attorney General Letitia James tried to do something about the bullshit crisis pregnancy centers in her state, tricking pregnant people into thinking that they were getting objective counseling when they're really getting religious bullshit. Specifically, she went after the groups that said they could do abortion pill reversals. Now, we've talked about this before, but as a quick refresher, that's not a thing. Abortions can't be reversed. And telling people they can be might encourage them to make dangerous decisions, like failing to go through with the full medical regimen involved in a self-administered abortion. And the idea that it can work is a dangerous lie promoted by religious groups trying to double up the guilt that they're trying to instill in people for having abortions in the first place. In other words, it's the exact kind of thing you want your attorney general stopping people from doing. But it looks like the liars are going to be safe in this instance, specifically because their bullshit is religious. And lying is religion's whole fucking thing. See, the statute that James charged them under applies to commercial transactions. She was basically charging them with false advertising because they were advertising something falsely. But the only way to advertise religion is falsely. So they're exempt from that rule. And that's exactly what a federal district court told James when they threw out the case. But that's hardly the worst case of a court standing in the way of common sense abortion policy this week. For that title, we go to Arkansas, where the state Supreme Court just tossed out a ballot measure that sought to protect reproductive rights in this year's election. The group got all the signatures necessary, jumped through all the necessary hoops, and had plenty of support among the populace to get the measure passed. And the Republicans running the state were damned if they were going to let that happen. So the Secretary of State came up with some bullshit about how they didn't file the paid canvasser training certificate, a barrier that, lo and behold, has never been enforced in the history of that fucking state. But no matter, it sounded good to the state Supreme Court, so they agreed. And they did so in a way that doesn't even allow the group to file that shit later or otherwise rescue the more than 100,000 signatures that they collected. The measure just won't be on the ballot. Because the party that jerks off to the flag and sings my country tis of thee while they do it don't give one single fucking shit about democracy or freedom the second it doesn't give them what they want. And on that reminder, and with a quick thanks to Alan and Cody for sending these stories to scathingnews at gmail.com, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs> 